from day. We've made it halfway through the week. Uh, and I think so far, so good, right? So hold on. I'm not even organized this morning. What a disheveled morning. <laughs> Let's start off with our daily pledge. Today is a new day. I am ready to be the best me I can be. I will listen so I can learn. I will try hard so my brain can grow. I will not give up. I can learn anything I put my mind to. So today is a new day. It's an opportunity for us to be our best self, to work on our goals, and to really focus on ways that we can make our day better, whether that be through a, a routine or getting something done, meeting up with a friend. Um, every morning we're checking in. Where are you at on a scale of one to 10? How are you feeling? If you're not waking up feeling great, get out your toolbox. It was interesting yesterday, I had somebody ask me if I had a printout of our toolbox and I simply explained to them that back in March, uh, we started our own toolbox. Whether you got a caboodle or a recipe box or a shoe box, that's our toolbox. Remember, if we have a place to put our tools to fix things, we need to have a place uh, for tools to fix ourselves, right? And so our toolbox isn't necessarily anything I can print off and gift to you. It's just simply something that you need to make on your own. And that toolbox is what you take out. Maybe it's even just a folder uh, with papers of information and things maybe you've gotten from me or maybe things you've learned in the past. Uh, whatever it may be, that's our toolbox. Our toolbox is simply things that we've talked about, tools, resources, anything that we can do to either help ourselves, our mental health, or even people around us, okay? And so where are you at? Check yourself today. What do you need to do to put in place to feel better, okay? Um, so I wanted to recap, um, and I'll do that afterwards, but today for Wellness Wednesday, I wanted to back up a little bit. We've been kind of intense talking about uh, toxic relationships and boundaries and healthy relationships. So this is kind of like more of a lighthearted sort of thing. Um, and we're going to talk about the importance of vitamins. Um, so our mental health, not only do we need to have coping skills, we need to make sure we're drinking our water. We need to make sure we're sleeping, taking your medications if you have them. Uh, but most importantly, our body needs vitamins. And it needs things to run smoothly, to have brain power, uh, to help us with our immune system, whatever it may be. We need vitamins. And so I wanted to just touch base a little bit about why they're important. Uh, when is the last time you went to the doctor and had blood work done and they were told you that you were either low on vitamin D or vitamin B or vitamin C, whatever it may be? Um, did they tell you that? And if so, why is that? And why is it important? I think it's good to go over that, okay? So first and foremost, eat plenty of brain food, okay? Foods that are rich in omega-3 fatty acids such as salmon, tuna, walnuts, and flaxseed. Foods that are rich in antioxidants such as berries, blueberries are the best, sweet potatoes, tomatoes, spinach, and green tea. And foods that are rich in vitamin B such as spinach, broccoli, soybeans, and black beans. These are all the things that apparently are going to give us brain power, okay? And so when we eat certain foods, we're going to feel better, which is so true. Remember, we've just said before, you are what you eat. If you find yourself um, eating a bag of potato chips and really thick hot dishes and a bunch of junk food, how do you think you're going to feel? You're going to feel awful inside. Part of managing your mental health is giving your body the tools it needs to feel better on its own right? If we don't feed our body with the proper nutrients, it's going to be hard to manage our mental health because we ourselves just aren't going to feel good. And so we need to, we need to take our vitamins or eat our vitamins. Okay. Um, vitamin D. I thought this was cute with a little sunshine. What can you, what foods can you get vitamin D out of? First of all, cheese, eggs. Well, you can also get it out of sunlight, tuna, milk, and salmon. Vitamin D. Now, since the get-go, no, I don't know, so don't don't quote me. I'm not a doctor. But from the get-go with during this whole uh, coronavirus time, they've been talking about how vitamin D is a very important medication, um, vitamin, <laughs> vitamin to take uh, to help your body stay strong. Um, it's kind of its way of like protecting it from it maybe. Um, so they say a uh, vitamin D has been shown, I guess, uh, to be a good thing to take, especially during this COVID time. But vitamin D for many people who don't see any sunlight throughout the winter, um, this is important to take. It can affect your mood. Um, your, if you're feeling low, if you're feeling anxious, vitamin D. Now, um, some people take five to 10,000 milligrams or whatever you would find on the bottle of vitamin D, okay? That's important for you um, and your body, and it can help with many different situations, okay? So vitamin D, think of sunlight, think of eggs, think of cheese. Maybe think of some of those like uh, maybe yellow things. 
yellow things, yellow vegetables, yellow fruits. Um, I'm sure probably oranges, things like that. However, that's vitamin C too. So vitamin D. Here are some benefits for vitamin C. Now, when as long as I can remember, I've always been told I need to take my vitamin C. When I was a kid and now into my adult years, vitamin C is important. Not only is vitamin C important for your, your health, right? We say take your vitamin C when you're sick or so you don't get sick. But what else does vitamin C have to do with your body? Well, I'll tell you, okay? So they say vitamin C protects your memory, which obviously means that I should probably take more because my memory is terrible. So vitamin C protects your memory. Vitamin C can boost your immune system. Vitamin C keeps your heart healthy. Um, vitamin C eases gout. It prevents anemia and it gives you healthy glowing skin. Okay, I have more. Wait, vitamin C can reduce gluten-induced inflammation. So that's interesting. If you have a gluten sensitivity and maybe you ate something uh, with gluten, they say that vitamin C can help kind of reduce how that feels in your body. It can help with liver detoxification. Um, it can help promote adrenal health, which is kind of with your thyroid and your energy levels and, and just feeling better. Um, it can it can boost... Um, um, functioning within your uh, immune system, which we kind of already talked about. Um, necessary for repairs in body tissue, uh, reduces heavy metal accumulation, which we don't want, and we get that from a lot of things, whether it's through our water system, what have you. Um, it can protect and or destroy cancer cells. So that's very interesting. Vitamin C is important, not for many different reasons, not just so that you don't get sick um, or you can get better, uh, but ultimately it sounds to me like vitamin C has some pretty critical functions in your body to help it stay strong and to function properly, your memory. Um, and I think that's awesome because if we're trying to work on our mental health and we're trying to feel better, truly our body has to feel good so that we can keep, continue to improve our mental health, reduce our anxiety, things like that. Um, okay, so here are some things that also can, if you're worried about your immune system, tis the season um, of some people maybe, I, you know, I think I've kind of heard about maybe that little flu bug going around. Um, not as much now that we... Um, you know, are kind of experiencing the COVID things. However, here are some things that are going to help you boost your immune system, okay? Broccoli sprouts, green tea, ginger, garlic, and berries, okay? They're high in vitamin C. So like uh, blueberries, strawberries, raspberries, things like that, uh, let alone that, that, that fruits are very um, important for you anyways and vegetables. And so it's about trying to continue to feed our body full of all the things that we need. Aside from the fact um, that we need to drink our water, eat our three meals a day, get some sleep, things like that. Now, one of my favorite vitamins that I tell everybody about because I think it's important is magnesium. And uh, many people don't even know all the benefits that magnesium can truly give to you. Now, if you experience any sort of anxiety, um, and I do myself, and so I like to take magnesium. Uh, magnesium is just something that uh, can help you to relax, okay? It's a vitamin safe for you to take. Uh, th there's multiple different reasons why magnesium is good for you. First of all, it relieves pain. Um, I've been told and I've read some things that magnesium has been used for like um, to help with pain reduction and also as sort of a muscle relaxer to help you relax. Um, I've read some things on uh, about how uh, doctors will prescribe magnesium. First of all, it's not a narcotic. It's not an addictive th medication. It's not going to have negative side effects. Uh, magnesium is a natural supplement that your body can use use to fight off pain and help you relax. Magnesium helps you sleep. I also take magnesium at night to help me sleep. Um, it just, again, it helps you relax, kind of slows you down a little bit, but it's not a narcotic and it's not something that's addictive. It's just a natural substance. I can lower your risk of diabetes. It protects the brain, um, reduces tinnitus. It can improve your mood. Um, but if you can reduce your anxiety and help you relax and make maybe make you able to focus better, imagine what that's going to do to help you feel better. It's going to improve your mood. Um, magnesium can release um, relieve stress. So on a day that you're having a difficult day and you feel wound up and you're not doing so well, taking magnesium can help you relax, reduce your stress. It's going to help you get your head back on straight and you're going to be able to conquer the day. It can provide healthy teeth. And proper heart function. So there's many different um, benefits to magnesium. 
most importantly, the sleep and the anxiety is, is kind of one of the reasons why I was in, um, shown it and I've liked it and I continue to use it. Uh, and so maybe set something that you guys can try, reach out to you. Oh, great for Charlie horses. Hey, that's a good, I didn't know that either. And so you can reach out to your doctor and make sure that it's something that it's safe for you to take. And if they say yes, which I'm assuming they will, there you go. You should do that for sure. So vitamins, um, that's just kind of a little bit of a synopsis. We could continue to talk about it. I did print something else off. However, I'm going to need a magnifying glass to read that, which is unfortunate because this really would have been a good thing to do. But they talk about zinc. Oh, zinc has also been another really great vitamin that they're saying can help, um, especially during this COVID time, uh, to protect you, to keep your body healthy. And also, if you ever got it, you can take it and it's supposed to kind of help you heal faster. Vitamin C. B12 helps with your metabolism. Uh, B12 is going to help you energize. It's going to keep your body um, working off all your food. It's going to give you energy. Uh, B6, B2, B1, pretty much all the Bs. Just line them up on your counter. <laughs> uh, vitamin D, vitamin E, folic acid, magnesium, iron, and calcium. Calcium is huge. If you don't drink milk or get any other forms of calcium, um, you should probably take a supplement because ultimately your bones and your body needs that to continue to stay strong. You don't want your bones to get brittle um, or your body to get weak. And so if you don't drink a lot of milk or anything like that, make sure you're taking calcium, okay? So those are vitamins. How many of you take vitamins? If you don't take any, maybe from today, you'll learn that at least you should take something. You know, at the very least, they have some pretty fantastic multivitamins out there that really get a, a lot of what you're needing in them. So if you don't like to take um, more pills or if you're tired of kind of adding to your regimen already, go get a multivitamin. It's important for your body. Again, you have to give it the proper fuel to be able to function, to be able to work hard every day. And if you need that strength to focus on your mental health and your appointments and getting things done in your environment, then you got to give yourself what it needs to to keep going, right? It's kind of like the Tin Man on The Wizard of Oz, right? He gets he gets all stiffened up and he needs oil. Well, it's kind of like what vitamins are to our body. It's the oil that we need to keep functioning properly, to feel better. If you're feeling depressed and anxious and low energy and low mood and you're just not feeling well, you should ask your doctor to do some a blood work to see where your vitamins are at. Are you deficient in anything? What do you need to put in your body to make it feel better um, aside from anything else but like like going for a walk, things like that, okay? So vitamins are important. Um, it's Wednesday. Your challenge for the rest of the week is to do multiple different things. First and foremost, take a look at your vitamins. Take a look at your foods. What are you eating? What are you feeding yourself? Are you feeling your body with the proper things it needs to be able to take care of yourself, to take care of your mental health, to feel better? If you're not feeling good, there's a pretty good indicator. Oh, my, magnesium helps migraines. That's awesome. Thank you. Um, there's a pretty good indicator you're, that you're not feeling in your body with the right things that it needs to feel better. But we're also going to take a look at our relationships and we're going to keep processing them and we're going to keep figuring out um, ways that we can build them and stay positive and reduce the negative ones that are carrying a black cloud out of us. There are so many different compartments to managing your mental health, to feeling better, to having en energy and motivation and improving your mood. It all works together. Remember your self-care wheel? Every day, let's check that. Are we staying balanced? Are we doing everything that we can to feel our best, uh, to give our bodies the energy that it needs to stay motivated, to feel better, and to do what we need to do on a daily basis? Thank you for joining me this week. I hope that you guys have an amazing rest of your week and an amazing weekend. And I will see you next Monday again uh, for Motivation Monday. If you have anything that you would like to talk about or hear more about, don't hesitate to message me. I love topics. We had a few this week that we got to talk about, so that was exciting. Uh, but keep passing them along, and I will continue to find resources for you. Otherwise, take care of yourself. Take care of your relationships and take care of your health. Um, and those three things uh, should really set us on the right track to feeling our best and being happy. Have a good day.